Hello everybody, this is Bones. Uh, we got the dog on my lap, so you might see him today. I'm wearing a mask you haven't seen me wear in a while. This is the Cosmic Skull, and the reason I'm wearing it today is because we're playing Moon Quest, as you see up there. Uh, we're doing a new game, because I haven't done it before. <laughs> I like I already... Human, maybe suffering from internal parasites. Gold ore. Easy mode. Moon Man, a strange Desian. He feels no emotion. He glows. I like his little happy face, though. Amphibian, a creature of the water. Gills. Water Moon. And a bunch of locked. Well, not a bunch, but you get some decent ones here. There's. I like that one of them is Carl. Carl, deploy the beacon. Elemental, rescue the Halcyon Heart. Uh, game Delph. Not at all, after Gandalf. Uh... Who do we want to be here? We want to be a human, or we want to be a moon man? I feel like since I'm wearing the mask, let's try moon man. Yeah, we're going to go with moon man. In a strange moonlit world, a being is summoned. He is tasked with the quest to bring light to a dying planet. His journey begins underground. And there is moon man. There's I'm not going to lie here, I'm, I'm loving his smile. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, now he, if I remember right, ooh, get the soil, get the, whack the shit out of it. Alright, what is this here? Solomon Shelter. Okay, so E gets me stuff here. It's a tool kit. There's a little quick crafting thing, so this is kind of neat, I can craft. Um, a pick. A dig stick, a torch, I like that they call a shovel a dig stick. That's funny. And I'm using a broom as a basic weapon. Do they show me how much damage these do? Um, no armor worn, equip a helmet, equip a shield. So I can get a shield right off the bat. And a toolbox, I feel like a toolbox would be handy to have maybe. That is a big ass enemy, Do can I talk to him? I cannot talk to him. Hello! Okay, so if I do that, greetings and shout one. I fear we meet in dark times. We have a great quest ahead, you and I. Seek the moonstone and power this great machine. Alright, so I'm glad I didn't actually hit him, because I'm not gonna lie, I was I was thinking maybe I would need to maybe I would need to whack him, but he's uh, he's friendly people. He's friendly folk, so I don't need to hit him. Uh, now, one thing that I like here, again, I'm seeing a lot of games now that are using these, like, 8-bit graphics, and I, as a, as a retro gamer, I dig that. We're gonna walk backwards a little, like a little moon Michael Jackson here, and take a look around. Let's see my area. Stone chest. Open it, you dead. Oh, there's some stuff in here for me. There's sugar, there's a melon, and there is a leaf. What everybody needs in their day. There is a sack. Please refrain from jokes. I know some of you out there are tempted to make weird jokes, but come on. I feel like some moss would be good to have with me. Oh, oh yeah, so one thing about this game, by the way, if I uh, remember, is that the environment is fully destructible and I like that as somebody who tends to break shit in games I, uh, I enjoy that heavily I like that I would my first thought was immediately I need to go and smash the door when I could have opened it like logical people but no not me I had to uh, I had to go and attack it <laughs> this tells you what I'm working with today thinking now that is a glowworm can I say hello to the glowworm Oh shit, I just smacked the shit out of him. Can I use him? Do I need him? Hi, Glowworm. I'm sorry, sir. Are his guts useful for anything? Why did I kill him? I don't know. I don't know why I killed him. Why did I kill the poor Glowworm? He did nothing to me. He did not need that death. Uh, there's another books. Uh, stone Slug, Cave Entrance. Can I talk to the Stone Slug? Discovered Tunnel of Night. Well, I glow, so night is not a problem for me, but that creepy fucking spider thing is. How about you? 
that's the end of the uh, that's the end. Now do I know how to swim? We got a, like a breath meter, I do. That's that little blue meter down there. So let's get the F out of there, please. No, be a faster jumper, sir. There you go. Hey, you son of a bitch. Don't you hit me. I will hit you back. I will smack the bejesus out of you with the things. Oh my god, I was slain by guard. Got some sugars, got damaged spine. So I'm back with the damaged spine, and I got a gold ingot and a stash. So I, I could take all, which I don't really need to take all, I suppose. Alright, so, uh, as you can see here, we have a fancy little roguelike. Uh, the lighting is well done. The graphics are good, and the controls are very easy, actually. Which I, I'm not going to lie, I'm a fan of easy controls in games, so... I don't like it if i got to worry about a bunch of extra shit, so if I don't, even better. I know I'm going to die under the water here. There's going to be a lot of deaths, guys, I get the feeling already. Alright, so... There we go, there we go, that's how we do, that's how we do in our world. Can I just keep destroying? No. Things you hear bones say during a game, right? Can I just keep destroying? Well, what do I do? How do I go? Where do I go? What happens? God, if I can just get up there. His little leggies aren't doing it. He is trying, guys. He is trying. Making a ledge here. Got a sprained spine. Alright, so I'm somewhere else now. Okay. Alright, well, I will deal with this. Gotta make the ceiling a little bigger for myself. Apparently I'm a tall moon man. Eggs. Eggies. Can I take the eggs? No. I can smash the eggs out. I do not like those spider things. They're creepy as shit. How about you, spiderlings? Whoop that ass. So the moon man's job here. Let's open this again. Can I craft anything yet? Mallet, basic weapon. Simple rock smasher crumples a week. Mini pick. Small pickaxe. Torch? Do I have a torch, actually? Now, I believe as well that I can actually build, so I need to quit being an idiot about that. There's a food pocket there. So if I hit Q... Oh, oh, oh. alright, so we're learning the game. The developers are probably like, all oh, this was in there, you genius, but I'm learning more now. So we are learning the more important things as we go. Um, that moss I could climb on. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to switch. Now we got the digging stick. The digging stick does indeed dig quite well. And it smashes. So for now, oh, you little shit. You all can probably not hear the dog asleep on my lap, but he is out. So we're, we're going to dig a little this time and see what happens. Uh, I... I feel like this is a good game for casual play, or if you want some adventure. See, I'm liking a lot of games like this because of the fact that, like I said, I don't like covering games everybody else has played a lot. Uh, somebody on my asked me why on my channel you never see me do like the the you know the battlefield whatever ninety thousand they're up to. I don't know. Um, but whatever they're up to. And the reason is simple, is because I'd rather do games like this that I think are the unsung heroes of gaming now, which is that these are the games here that have personality, and they're doing something, you know? They're doing something different. 
Um, they're not every other game, and I like that. Also, there's something hilarious about this Moon Man just beating the holy shit out of the ground, so... I'm not gonna lie, Nick, that's pretty funny. Alright, so we are destroying as much of the environment as we can while trying to save it, because that is the balance that I do then. It looked like he was humping the ground for a moment, so that was also funny. I just like his smile, man. He's funny. I, I dig him. He's my speed. Let's, uh, let's go back to the digging. But you see what I mean here? By destructing the environment a bit, we have found a whole new tunnel. Uh, I don't know what else I can build yet with some of this stuff. But I'm going to kill this thing just in case it's trying to kill me. Sorry, if it's not. These don't go anywhere really, but so good to know about. Um, so let's open my backpack and put the blocks in there as I feel like they should be. Um, and then maybe we can craft some things. Can I craft anything? No. Some lumber and sharp stone, so we need those. Um, I am forever now going to, I think, call shovels digging sticks because I, I like that name quite extensively for them. So, simple game to play. A lot of mouse. You can see the hot bar up there with the numbers. You can see what's what right off the bat. You really don't even need a tutorial. Uh, and it's an exploration game first off, which I dig. This is my speedy game. Although I'm worried... Oh. Whoa. Who is that down there? Please don't be a bad guy. Because you look like you'd be an interesting person to converse with. So please be somebody friendly to me. Oh, of course, you little shits. I'm like, you're my people, and then they're like, no we're not. Take that, you overgrown smurfs. That was the ass whooping you deserved. Can't believe it. Ed Smurfs try to kick my ass. Ain't that a bee? You just about got me, too. Further into the bowels we go. Maybe. Yes. Uh, I am sort of concerned, though, because I feel like I should have found a door by now. Oh! Oh, that's, um, definitely that's a monster. That is not... He is not a friend. He's got sharp teeth that look like they will chew on us. A hound. A dozen of the deep and foreboding underground. Well, I kind of feel like I wasted him faster than he could even get to me, so... Me there! Okay, somebody's trying to talk to me up there, but I can't get to them. Meh! How do I fix this? Can I? Can I fix this? I feel like that there that was sparkling is a gem of some sort that I could have used. Alright, so, maybe we can go up here and talk to somebody. Has Moon Man made a new friend? Stay tuned. I sound nothing like that guy, do I? No, it's Saturday morning guy. Most of you don't even remember Saturday morning cartoons. I don't even know if that's a, still a thing they do, but back in my day they did that. And the game saved, so some, some big shit's going on. Something's about to go down there. I'm just liking the... 
feel like while I'm doing a lot of clicking here, stuff's getting done at least, and I'm collecting things. Uh, I would like it if maybe there was a shop I could sell these at. I feel like you need a pickaxe for that, and you do. See, it shows you there what you need to get to that, which I do appreciate. Um, how about you? Okay, so, I thought I found a friend. Oh, shit. I did not find a friend. I found part of the ocean down there. That's good. That's, that's, and by that's good, I mean that's really not good. So, we're just going to dig down from here and see where we end up. Um, but at least I know where I am now, right? I don't know why the hell I just make this shit out there. So we'll see. We'll see what we do. Get, quit humping the wall. Um, no, why are you smurf people so damn mean? I thought we could be friends, maybe, and we could, we could have hugs, hugs, and Buzz Lightyear is trying to kick my ass over there. That thing is huge. Oh, he is, like, coming for me hardcore right now, whatever that is there, so I don't really want to have to deal with him. Um, let's try something different now. I have a bunch of blocks here. 237 to be exact, so can I just... I can. Interesting. Well, look at that, guys. So not only can you destroy an environment, you can build on the environment, and I made a bridge there so that the guy could not get me. So not only is this a strategy game and an exploration game, it is a building game. So I can do all sorts of stuff. So I can make my own paths, ladders. Um, boy, the possibilities here just opened up a lot now. Um, what was already kind of a fun game just got ten times more interesting because I like the idea now that I can do things like that. Does this take me anywhere? No. Alright, so the map on your screen is where you, is what you've got to work with pretty much, I feel. So what we're going to do now is start going straight up. Um, so... Hit five. Hit a thing here. You all know that old trick. Don't even play. I will say games that have had the digging have taught us that trick. So, jump, jump in place. Jump. In Jump in place? Yes. So let's see where we end up, shall we? The end of the day here? Alright, alright. So up there a little more. Um, but no, I, I like that because I feel like this is a cross-genre game that's mixing quite a bit. I mean, you got some exploration game going on, you got... Um, and if you don't know already, which most of you do know, I am ridiculously a fan of exploration games. I enjoy them quite a bit. Wild Man's trying to kill me. Oh, Wild Man killed me. You son of a bitch. How dare you, Wild Man. I loved you. You were my friend. And then you have done this to me. I don't even know you anymore, Wild Man. I don't even know you anymore. I was betrayed by the wild man. No, we're leaving him down there. Piss on him. Let's get our stash. Take all. Boom. Get our digging stick. I know what's damaged. My digging stick is three now. I could probably change this around more. Let's actually look. Let's see what the controls are. Keyboard and mouse. Okay. Let's get our quest. 
<laughs> he just looks so happy. Uh, I, I like that. So tw 23 regions. Uh, I don't have any moonstones, so quest one basically is I need to find moonstones and get that stuff handled. So that is the thing I need to do first of all is get uh, get the moonstones going though. That is a coin. Um, I feel like I only really want to put the things that I really need to pout. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with that or pebbles. It's a web. There's gold. I feel like gold is going to be valuable for something. I don't know what yet. We'll see. Um, but we're going to we're going to do the old I'm going to do the old uh, Jack of all trades, they call it here. The old doper rope. The old jump and tumble. The old, I don't even know. Just making up words and terms. The old chutes and ladders. The old Jackson Bridge. Nothing. It's not my best. I don't know what to tell you. Um, so I believe somewhere up here is where I need to be. It's a shame I can't make that stuff. So I need lumber. I have not seen shit that would give me lumber. Now watch and wait and see if I'm not supposed to actually be above ground and I'm being a dumbass and just sitting here under the ground this entire time, which is probably true. Um, and the developers are probably laughing if they're actually watching my sad little let's play of this. Uh, but to them I have to say kudos, because this is uh, pretty fun so far. I really like the ease in which I can build things, that's for sure. Oh. Got, a little, got a little too familiar there with what I was doing. All right. Yeah, I mean, look at that. So, this is my game plan, guys. I'm going to try and get, as David Bowie says, we're going to try to get out of here. Y'all better comment in the comments and if you know what that's from, which, shame on you if you don't, everybody should. Only one of the greatest movies ever made. Uh, I tell you what, I will tell you all what it's from in a moment. So what I'll do is you all guess and we'll see if you're right. Alright, have you all guessed? But I will tell you now. It is from the movie Labyrinth. If you guess that, you are correct. If you did not guess that, poop on you, because you should have known. Not really poop on you, because what the hell, but, you know. Come on, guys. It's Labyrinth. Um, and a lot of people, uh, I've actually had an argument with somebody once who was like, it's overrated. I'm like, no, a movie like that is never overrated. It's still amazing. I mean, you have to think it's a Jim Henson movie, and yet they even let David Bowie get away with using the word hell in a children's, well, not children's, but a young adult movie. It actually really was not really a young adult movie. If you read between the lines and got the context of the movie, you will find that it is not at all a young adult movie. Oh, okay. So that is a warp stone of sorts. And there's wood. There's lumber. So let's look on top of the surface here and see what I've been missing. Is there like a tree? I can get the, There's a tree right the F there. Can I cut into that sucker? Get some lumber, build some stuff. I don't like uh, I don't like that spider, so we're gonna trap him. Can we trap the spider guys? Can we trap the spider man? Get it? Spider man. See what I Shush. I think you had a better joke. Come on now. People are probably like I did. I did bones. This is horrible. 
which I'm sorry, I'm doing what I can, man. It actually reminds me of eight-legged freaks, if you've all ever seen that. And they're like, what is it? Spider-Man? No, nobody. Tough crowd tonight. Um, I also actually really like the weird and mythical creatures that they have going on here. That is a big horse. That is a horse. Uh, I, I wish I could talk to the horse. He seems friendly. He is a horse, of course, of course. So I can craft a dig stick. That is a broom. First thing we're going to remake is a dig stick. And then toss that one. And then we're going to make a mallet to get rid of my damn broom. And ditch the broom. Now what I need there for that is a... Uh, a sharp stone, which I don't have. Uh, what else can I make? We can make this little puppy here. So we're going to put our lumber and our other stuff down in here. And then see what else the toolbox will let me make, okay? Um, do I need planks for anything? The mini pick here is one that I'm really trying to make. But we're off to a start, at least. We're off to a better start than we were. So let's smash the shit out of stuff with the mail. Look at how happy he is to just have this mallet. I feel like that is totally me. He's just like, look at this bright stuff. This will be fun. Killing the forest for... Uh, let's play in games. Nothing at all creepy or weird about it. And I need to find moonstones. So that is my quest. I feel like we are on the Neil Breen quest right now. If you all don't know who he is, again, please to God look him up. Watch the trailer for, like, fateful findings. Uh, be warned if you watch the trailer for the movie Double Down. There are, uh... You will see more of Mr. Breen than I think you probably planned on in a day. And also your parents will probably not think you. It's not, uh, it's not a kid-friendly trailer at all. There's, there's some, I don't even know a nice way to say it. There's, there's just some genitalia in it. Um, I don't know why. If anybody's going to ask, the answer is I don't know why. Um, Apparently, he just decided that his uh, balls needed to be in a movie. So they, they are featured there. They have said hello. So they're there in a movie now. Um, in which you can't unsee once you see the trailer. So just, you know, stuff to consider, people. Stuff to consider. Well, look at our little dude. He's, he's coming a long way now. The signpost. Well, let's. No, what did I do? Shit. Seventh Vend. I saved it. Ooh, that's a pretty area. Hey, fuck you, trying to. Oh. He whoopified my ass. I will whoopify his ass. We are fighting for the destiny of the Moonstones. You will know me. No. <laughs> Why do you hate me so, sir? How about you? I have a shovel digger stick. I have a stick of digging. Pew! Game over. Uh, well, we're gonna play again. Tell you that. So let's try a new game. We're gonna try with the human. Let's see what his deal is. The strange road. Journey begins underground. Alright, so now I know I've begun underground, but my ultimate journey, there's the moon machine itself. Alright, so, blue cat. Thank you. Um, so what I really want to do here, apparently, is get to the surface, right? Is that what I'm seeing here, people? So I want to get my ass up to the surface. Let's smash the shit out of some stuff to get some leverage here. Oh, sharp stone. He got sharp stone right away. Why did my other dude not get sharp stone? Oh, human is easy mode. That's why. So maybe they just give him more shit right off the bat. I don't know. Although Moon Man was adorable. I am noticing the, the moon glow. 
burning the human as well as he uh, has a hand fell asleep. Of course it did, right? You guys ever had that where you're, uh, especially if you're a YouTuber, has any other YouTubers had that? Greetings and Sheldon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's do it to it. Uh, before we do that, though, let me get a little more of the sharp stone, if this is indeed sharp stone. Reminds me of an actual famous quote from Abraham. I want to say it's Abraham Lincoln, in which he says, and this is true, if this is tea, please bring me coffee. If this is coffee, please bring me tea. <laughs> it's a nice way of basically saying, look, I don't know what the hell you're trying to feed me, but I do not like it. Uh, juice. So juice will be my food thing. We also have uh, some of this other stuff here. What do we have? Oh, what is this? Hide. I don't need to hide. <laughs> no fun. Oh, okay, so human starts with armor, so human is indeed easy mode. I feel like I'll probably go back to the Moon Man, though, because I'm not going to lie to you all. I'm kind of fascinated with Moon Man. Um, I like him. I think he is funny. He just looks very, like, uh, jovial. And two, do you guys remember the smiley face meme that was going around the internet for a while? You all are going to hate me for admitting this, but I was obsessed. Obsessed with the smiley face guy, like, insanely obsessed. I don't know why, but I just thought he was the funniest shit ever. Um, I was intensely obsessed with him, where it was like, people were literally at the point of being like, just, just stop, please, with, with this. But I would not stop ever. Oh my god, he is huge. Could you not try to kill me, maybe? Could we talk? Starting. Okay. So I guess if I talk to him, he doesn't kill me. Look upon my wares. There's a guy up there. Okay, so let's. You can't get up there. Don't you mess with me, son. I'll always you. Alright, uh. Let's go to three, and we're gonna try and build a little platform up there. So maybe I can, like, guard, I don't want to mess with you, but don't mess with me either. Well, hi there, little fella. Do you have it? Oh, 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 I don't have coin, but I will come back to him. Nice, he has some good stuff here. At least a dagger, or a hollow knife would be better than the rest of my shit, right? I like the dagger, actually. It has sinister. A small iron forge. Look at all this. la dee da da There's actually a lot more crafting in this game than I suspected. Oh, my shit. Let's give him white garment. Get rid of that. Get him a guitar, get him some projectiles, get him two pairs. Two pairs of what? Haha, <laughs> sorry. And he's got an owl mask now. He looks like a proper little tribal dude. He fits in. Now you all don't even know I'm human. Maybe they do. Oh god. It'd be great if I didn't fall, wouldn't it? Right, so where am I off to now? Discovered Dunlum. I do like that I seem to be able to. Hi! Hello! Maybe that was a problem with Moon Man. Maybe I just wasn't talking to people. I was just assuming they were going to kill me instead of just talking to them. The Smurf people certainly didn't like Moon Man, though, didn't they? They were kind of dicks to him. The rabbit said, Good day, Esteban. How are you? See, everybody's super friendly if you're a human, eh? Am I experiencing speciesism in a game? Is that what this is? Is racism? Is a tool bench and a tool box. It's a wooden door, wooden ladder, wooden wall, so I could technically make my own little hideout somewhere even. Make a little home to stash my stuff in, probably. Uh, look at this dude. He is all... the stuff. 
Oh, so he is uh, the better stuff. So I need gold ingots, and he will give me even better equipment. A whole new world. Oh, look at that. The Lord's Axe. Wasn't well, that pretty? The problem is, Moon Man was all about the adventuring. I have not done all the adventuring with him. I have done more city exploring, but I like any exploring. And I know that's dopey of me, but uh, I like all of that. I float with the leaf pad, so we're going to put on the leaf pad. <laughs> well, that is... My hair is dead. He's a lady. Not really. Um, you can probably see the dog on me. You should surprise. I should surprise. Shouldn't we all surprise a little at the end of the day? Alright, so let's open here. There is another. Is in tight? The dog just sneezed. I don't know why. Less potion. Yeah, human is definitely easy mode. Just good lord. I'm getting a bunch of stuff. I couldn't find sharps on to save my life with me, man. Uh, although, from what I understand, I believe this is also randomly generated, so I might just be having a really lucky day on him. A loom! And craft better stuff. Thread. Yes, I want threads. Alright. Knights in white satin. Alright. I said satin, not Satan, people. Well, this is all well and good. Holy cow, that is a badass little mask. Ugh, I need to get me better shit immediately. That much is clear. Hard leather. I got the stuff for it. Armored. Yes, please. So that's better armor still. So here. Oh, I didn't know I had that. Am I one of them? Am I one of what? And how big is this effing city? I feel like Dunlum just goes on forever. Listen, while well, you're all adorable. I would appreciate getting the F out of here now. Thank you. Thank you. So we will be getting the F out of here and going somewhere else. Well, good day, sir. I know. I don't need protection. Discovered open space. One of my favorite spaces. I <laughs> get this a little. Oh, Jesus. The horses crack me up, man. I'm not going to lie. I like them. And I'm talking to absolutely nobody before I actually go and get a bunch of stuff. I don't need rags. I don't need green tunic. Coin! We're starting to get Mulata. We're starting to get this stuff. And we are getting arrows. So, good. We're starting to get some stuff. And a golden... Holy shit. I got glasses. I got a smoking pipe. Smorking pipe. I got a book. I got a paper. I will always take a book and a paper. Uh, and round glasses. And I will always take a smorkin pipe. Smorkin. I don't know what it does. But I like it. I like it. You seem to want to talk to me. I don't know, buddy, but I, I'm trying to find some gold ore here. What's going on there, fella? Craft a uh, mini pick from wood and stone. Yeah, let's uh, let's look here. I should be able to craft a pick by now, and I can. I can craft a pick, so good. We're gonna craft a pick. You all will no doubt see that the dog has kicked the holy shit out of my stomach, because that is a great feeling, let me tell you. Um, if you all do not believe there is a dog in my lap, I will, I will show him. Come here, baby. This is the dog. So he is Adventure Dog today. That is his nickname. He is uh, he is with us in our little quest. Um, I wonder what happens if I just walk off screen. Oh God! I got arrows. I got free arrows. 
So humans, uh, humans got it going on with this game. You know what that reminds me of is there's a, um, if you've ever seen Flight of the Concords, there was something called Brett, you got it going on. And it's hilarious. And that's what that reminds me of. And if you have not, you should see what we do in the shadows. Amazing movie. It makes fun of every, like, a vampire movie out there. And it's hilarious. And genuinely funny. I don't care if you're American, British, even if you're like, oh, I don't get British humor, still still watch it. It is it is a, it is an immensely funny movie that I think you will appreciate. Um, it's become like a household favorite. Uh, I feel like the toolbox is a good move because I don't know what else it does, but I feel like whatever it does, it's going to be useful. Let's see what it does actually. No, oh, okay, I don't know. Well, look at that! A pedal sword, a broom. A female deer. Alright. I know, I'm not very really funny today. Sorry, guys. Uh, so, how do I pick this shit back up? Okay. I just punch the shit out of it until it. until it listens. I might Tyson it. I'm sure Mike Tyson will love that before he beat the whole snot on me. Um, no, I was a I was a big Tyson guy when I was younger. So, anyways, back to the game at heart, please. Uh, I am pretty happy with my little human guy. I do miss my Moon Man. I'm not gonna lie to you. You see that shit? I put like crazy. That was amazing. Uh, some things I like about this game right off the bat, because I gotta say them. Um, I mean, I've been talking a lot about the different things with this game, so let's talk about some cool stuff, shall we? Cool thing one um, is it's very easy to pick up and play. Uh, I feel like I didn't need to do shit, really, to understand how to play this game. I just started kind of playing this game, and before I knew it, I'm exploring it, and I'm... I think I need a stronger pickaxe for gold ore. Like an iron pickaxe, but... I think I can at least mine iron with this pickaxe. That is a vol. Oh, you son of a biscuit holder. Don't you fuck with me. I will whoop the... Whooping right off your whooping. I don't even know what the hell that meant. It was not even a... You're not at all sunk up. Hi, Vol. So some creatures of the night seem friendly, some do not. Hi there, Leros. How are you? Leros doesn't want to talk to me. I don't know if he's not a hugging type or... Uh, these are stone bricks. So I need some... Get some root from tiles. I, he has been dared. Who has dared him for what? I need to know. Hi, Lero. Well, that's generic, but thank you for the information. I have my <laughs> sword, I guess, of sorts. I was laughing there as I was... Okay, this dog is out of control today. Uh, I was laughing there as I was, uh... Hacking away at stuff and getting all the lumber I can, because I see lumber is a basic in most things. And let's be honest, most survival games have lumber. I feel like this is a mix between a survival, a crafting, and an adventure roguelike all in one. So quite a good mix of genres. Um, beautiful graphics, very vibrant color. Uh, and looky there! Did I find me? No, I did not. Maybe I did, I don't know what that is there that I am seeing down there. What are we seeing there, Grasshopper? Is that a, is there a door? That is a wooden door. And a bottle that I cannot play with in a sack. So, lucky not there, because I didn't find anything that I thought I did. Okay. Um, but, we're going to grab all the lumber we can, because in every game like this, I feel like lumber. Oh, I didn't know I could just hold the button down. That's a hell of a lot easier. 
And I can remake my digging sticks when it breaks, at least. So we're just gonna go ham on this. Like we're making a Christmas dinner. I'm leaving a bit of it. Uh, apparently, in the game, you need moonstone and you need to save the world by starting the moon machine. Where I will find these said moonstones, I do not know. So we are on a quest to find the stones of moon. The moonstones. Um, and again, we'll start down here and dig our way up again. That doesn't look like a friendly thing. Whatever in the hell that is. That, that looks slightly terrifying. God, it's going to drop right on me. What are you... Oh, God! What happened there? What happened? I'm not paying for that. I hope you have housing insurance, because that's, that's not my fault there. Hi, horse! Oh, God. Have I offended thee? No. He wants to be a fisherman someday. Well, good luck, sir. Um, so I don't know if I should be on the surface as much as I am, or should, should I be down in the earth more? I feel like I should be down in the earth more. Right I feel like I'm going two ways about this, and I don't know which way is best. So first, we're going to go here. Then we're going to try going back down more into the earth. Because right, this doesn't go anywhere anyway. So. Now it's time to explore the depths of the earth. Uh, so, what do I think of this game? Moon Quest is, I will say, uh, again, a, a retro game. I think it combines the 2D platformer style, but it is not a platformer. It combines quite a few things, and I'm having trouble... I really don't feel like you can pigeonhole this game. I'm getting rid of my roof tile stuff because I, I don't really care for them, frankly. Um, even the moss blocks I could care less about right now. I'm, I'm content enough with the other things I have. Like the pair to me is more important than speed stuffs. Ah, you dick. Okay. So, I don't know. I know one thing is that uh, it seems like when you are on a map screen, you can at least see the end of the level where you cannot go. I do appreciate that. Um, I like the graphics. Very colorful, very bright. Very interesting game because I feel like I don't know for sure where I need to go. And uh, I like that I need to actually explore, and it gives me reasons to explore. Like, for example, I got my digging stick here, which I actually forgot I had, like an idiot. So now we are going down into the earth much faster, and looking for another one of those little gate things. And you can be up above the land or down in the land. Um, I'm really digging the fully destructible environments. Fully destructible. Um, it reminds me a lot of Worms, one of my old favorites, I'll be honest, and uh, it reminds me a bit even of, uh, we'll say, another game that had digging. Oh shit. Have I bitten off more than I can proverbially chew? No. I did screw up the word proverbial. Per ah, you heard me. You heard me. You know what I did. I am forever calling shovels dig sticks now, though, because that is just genius, and I like it. Everything now is just going to be a dig sticks. Back to the soil. Back to the soil. A too many snail piles. <laughs> That's kind of uh, kind of gross. Uh, so we're going to look around the underground here. I feel like, uh, God, I'm, I may have to watch that book again now, sometimes soon, after, after saying that. Um, digging stick. Yours truly actually has a, a digging pile, a, a digging stick. I have a, uh, yes, there's a, you son of a bitch. Look at all of them. Look at all of them. Crowding on me. Want a piece of me? Don't try it. Don't, don't you, you son of a bitch. I got you anyway. Now I can actually mine these damn things. Yes, iron ore. Get all the ore. Get all the ore. Get that shit. 
the needed. Uh, and I do like, too, that I believe those blue stones warp me places, because that's pretty cool. So we're oaring all the ore I can ore to make the better pickaxe so that I can come back and mine gold. So what I'm going to do is get all the ore I can and then come back and, uh, and make a better pickaxe. An iron pickaxe, whatever you want to call it. I'm driving all this I can. There's a dude right there. A little fish monster guy waiting for me. Reminds me of like a Cthulhu esque thing. Um, also, I want to point out that I, you so far this let's play, you've only seen me tackle two of the classes, so there are more, you know, there's more right off the bat that they give you quite a few choices to unlock, and I also really like that, because a lot of games like this give you, like, one, you know what I mean, and then you unlock all the rest. This gave me a few choices to unlock, uh, and I can assure you I will probably, throughout the day and evening here, play with the rest of these and see what I think of them. But so far, uh, I'm having fun. This is a good one. Um, I definitely enjoy the uh, the work put into games like this that have some lore. This one's got a little silliness to it. Uh, I mean, come on, you've seen Moon Man, right? And I like that, though. I like the kind of... He's just got that haphazard, I'm too friendly for my own good smile, and I dig that. So... You can see here what I mean. I can go to Dunlum now and warp and get back there. And then we can see what we can build and see if I can make something better. But my point is, uh, and I feel like I've been doing this one for a little while here. I have, actually. So we will probably call it soon, guys. But uh, you can see my point here is that there are many things. Ooh, get your ass. The punch won't, even, won't help. Uh, okay. Uh, it's a golden forge. I need an iron forge. But I do like their fancy little their duds. It's cowman. So I need to make ingots. Not ingrid. Ingots. I know that joke wasn't going to go anywhere. So why I try it? Because you, you do what you can. And I believe this is the one that I need here. This is a iron cord, so... Uh, ooh, that's what I need here. So we'll craft some raw stone from these pebbles. Get them there. I turn iron ingot from coal and raw ingots. I don't got coal. I came to this damn town for nothing. Oh well. Hard knock life, right? So I'll go back up there, warp somewhere else, and uh, we'll keep going, man. But uh, yes, I think this is going to do it for yours truly. I appreciate you all watching Moon Quest and watching me. That is Esteban, our friend. Esteban, friend of the people. Alright, I don't know why I'm singing shit. Um, games I like put me in a happy mood, so. This one is definitely fun. It's actually going to replace another one or two on my computer that I got up right now, but I think uh, this one is going to replace those, because this has a lot of replay value already, I can tell, and I'm digging it. So, anyways, I am Bones. Thank you guys so much for watching me play the very fun Moon Quest. Um... If you want it, uh, click the link below, go buy it, uh, be sure to subscribe, like, give me your comments on the game, what do you guys think, what does it remind you of, uh, if you had to pick one or two games that it reminds you of, or even better, what would you use to describe this game, what uh, would your, how would you describe it, basically is what I'm asking here. Anyways, I'm out. You guys have fun, and uh, have a good day.